Ever since uh, Kareem was young, he always knew what he wanted to do and what he wanted to be in life. He was very determined. I'm like, son, you can be a doctor, you can be a lawyer, whatever you want to do. I like what you want to be. He's like, dad, I want to play in the NBA. The journey started then. Kareem McKeon II. I was born November 22nd, 2003. Um, I currently is 16 years old and I attend Saginaw High School. When I first started, when I first got a basketball hoop, that's when I found out basketball what I wanted to do. It, it always been something I wanted to do, but um, I started playing basketball when I was like, I don't know, I wasn't even in school yet, but I was playing at a little league up in, at the YMCA. My dad was my coach and all that. I ended up playing in second grade for recreation. I played for my coach Carter. Thank you. Yeah, big dog. I played with him all the way from second grade to the fourth grade, and then I switched to uh, Rick, and it was travel in fifth grade. But yeah, that's how I really started playing basketball. That's the background of it. Man, basketball itself, I love about it. I love the competition, the hard work behind it, the grind. Um, I love the atmosphere of being at games, like rival games. I love the atmosphere crowd be going crazy. Then when you do good things, you know the crowd going crazy and all that. Um, I love, I just love the hard work that you got to put in. Um, it's more about you learning the off court skills too when you on court. In my freshman year, I had a great season, but I was struggling academically wise because I really wasn't focused and I was just wanting to play around in school, be with my friends playing the game all the time. I just wanted to focus on school and my grades. I just really wanted to play ball. But Jason coming, it was just, I don't know why I want to focus. I just was not focused. But it was hard for me, I guess. So starting my sophomore year, I couldn't play the first game because I was ineligible. So they wouldn't let me play because my grades weren't right. But I was real sad. I was, devastated because I couldn't play with my boys just watching them play and I couldn't even be out there. All the students was there, staff, my family, and I couldn't even play. I I wasn't handling it very well. I was real sad. I was ready to just quit playing. I didn't even want to play that year no more. And it just won it wasn't good. I was real sad and depressed and all that. I handled it, but I went back to school. I was working hard to get my grades back up and all that so I could be able to play for the next other games and the rest of the season. I was just working hard, trying to get eligible, talking to uh, teachers, the principal, and um, my counselor and all that, just trying to get back on track and getting groups and all that. Well, after not being able to play the first game, I knew I had to make a change, so I started reaching out for help. Um, talking to my dad, my grandma, principal, counselor, just talking to people, trying to get help, talking to my teachers, just trying to get back on track, trying to get motivation to get back on track. Seeing my boys out there playing really gave me a lot of motivation. Like, dang, I'm trying to get back out there on that court. But really, just talking to my family and all that, getting motivation. I'm going hard on my homework, schoolwork, trying to get back eligible. After getting motivated, I knew I had to make a change, so I started hitting the gym way harder, um, going hard on my homework, not being a class clown, not playing around with my boys during school, um, getting to class on time, not be just lollygagging in the hallways. Like I was hitting the gym every day, um, just working hard, you know, just trying to get better every day, going home, doing my homework, not going out with my friends and my boys and all that, telling them that I got a hold, I'm locked in in the gym. You know, homework and all that, but I was just really focused on school, then basketball, and then anytime I had outside of that, I would do with my boys and all that, but mainly I was focused on school, then basketball. After making a change in my life, it, made, it opened up new doors for me, such as getting inducted into the National Honor Society. Well, that was a blessing. Um, my family was proud. I was proud of myself. Everybody was proud of me. Um, it's an honor to be in there. And um, I just know I worked hard for that because at first I was struggling real bad. Then now I'm in the National Honor Society. I got more confidence in myself academically wise. 
So yeah, that was a big boost in my confidence. The advice I get to a student athlete is, you gotta be a full-time student, part-time athlete. You gotta make time for your schoolwork. That's the most important thing. And don't be messing around in class, playing around with your boys and doing stuff like that. You gotta focus on your schoolwork. That's the most important thing. You gotta go hard in the gym when you in the gym. When you get time to be in the gym, you gotta go hard. You gotta play like you in the game. You gotta always go 110%. And you gotta just always make time for your schoolwork. I'd like to give a special shout out to everybody that helped me in this journey. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to my dad, my grandma, my mama, my little sister, my coach Carter, my coach Ju, coach Brewer, um, my teacher, Miss Her, she helped me out a lot. Miss um, Island helped me out a lot. Mr. Gordon, he was a big help in there all the journey, you know, and Kevin Gregory. I know it's a lot of hard work and dedication, but I know it's gonna pay off for me in the long run because I'm gonna be getting paid for the plan of sport that I love. Um, it's gonna give me a better lifestyle because I'm gonna be able to do what I want, you know, buy what I want, you know, um, getting my family out, you know, getting them what they want. Um, just being able to play the sport that I love, getting paid for it. And it ain't really all about the money, it's about just making it to the goal that I want to be, and that's the NBA.